Roger Federer is the only billionaire in tennis history, and it's all because of one business deal. Check this out. So it's 2018, and Roger Federer is on top of the world. He has more grand slams than any player in history, and everyone loves him. So Federer asked Nike to double his $10 million annual sponsorship deal. But there's just one problem. Nike has a loaded roster of tennis players, like Serena Williams, Rafael Nadal, and Maria Sharapova, and they tell Federer to kick rocks. So Federer shocks the world and signs a 10-year, $300 million deal with Uniqlo. But this is where it gets interesting. Federer's contract with Uniqlo had two unique stipulations. First, it didn't include a retirement clause, which meant he could walk away from tennis and still make bank. But more importantly, Federer's deal with Uniqlo only covered apparel, not shoes. So Federer kept playing in Nikes for a couple of years, but then he found a company called On Running and agreed to become an ambassador in exchange for a 3% ownership stake. On Running then blew up, and when they went public just two years later at a $10 billion valuation, Federer's stake was worth $300 million. So when you add together the money from Uniqlo and On Running, Federer's decision to leave a $10 million annual deal with Nike ended up earning him $600 million. 